welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, my name is Emma and these are my allotment slash gardening diaries. So I should really call them my gardening diaries as well because today I am working in my home garden and I've been out there for a while foraging these, which are my radishes. These are the bright lights and I have grown them in my planter and they are ready to harvest. And every time I walk past them, I just keep picking them and eating them. Honestly, no radish will taste as good as a radish that you grow yourself. It's crunchy, it's soft in the middle, it's sweet, it's just absolutely delicious and I cannot stop eating them. So I am very excited to be able to say that I am working with a company on this video called Let Pot, um, which is a self-watering pot system. And they very kindly gifted me one of their smart planters. So I'll tell you a little bit about it. It's a self-watering system and it's designed as a double layer structure to provide a breathable room for plants, as well as storing water to achieve self-watering. So this is a self-watering system for your plant pots. It's perfect for me. I jumped at the chance because I'm actually going on holiday next week and I need something to water my plants. A self-watering planting system seems absolutely ideal, um, particularly for this time of year when it's so easy to forget to water some of your plants. So I'm gonna get it set up. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to set up. And then I'm gonna show you some of the snazzy little extras that you get with it, uh, including being able to use it all through an app. Oh, wow. Looks quite snazzy. It is what hopefully it will look like <laughs> when I finish building it. So there's different ways that you can set this up. I've actually got the stand, so I'm gonna have it all standing up by my windowsill, um, but you can put it on the windowsill directly if you've got a deep enough windowsill. Um, you can put it onto the walls, or you can put it onto railings as well, and this can go outside as long as you've got a socket, like a plug socket outside, you can actually use this outside as well. So. Okay, assembling with stand, that's the one that we're gonna do. Okay, so the shelving unit was actually super simple to put together. It's basically like putting a puzzle together. It like all clicks into place. I think it looks really good, really snazzy, quite secure, quite solid, brilliant. Right, let's put this bit together now. I would find this bit really hard, but actually, okay. So the nose bits go on this side over here. They go on to there. Yep. So the setup's going really good so far. The only thing that I'm not struggling with, but just finding a little bit more like hard work, is getting this piping onto all the parts and that's just because it's a really snug fit so like just making sure that this is really right up to there and that piping is all really pushed in it's just like a little bit of effort trying to get it in but obviously because it's going to have like water going through it i want it to be as like tight as possible so it's worth just spending a little bit more time and putting a bit of an effort, bit of effort in just to make sure that that is all in nice and snug and then we're moving on to the next part which is actually quite exciting because it's the water part. Okay it's definitely doing something. Is it filling with- oh there's water in there! It's doing it! It's doing it! Oh look at it go! So I cannot believe how easy that was to put together, especially for someone like me. And just so you know, this tank here actually holds 16 litres of water, which means that you don't have to water your plants for between 30 and 45 days. And I'm guessing that depends on what kind of plant you're growing and how much water that plant needs. Um, but that's pretty cool that this can hold so much water, like 16 litres. And then if you look in here, 
We've got the little filter thing. This is what sucks the water up through the pipe, through the piping. And then um, this is the maximum you can fill it to. So you mustn't fill it past this little one here. So it's really, really easy to know how much to, how much water to put in there as well. But this is another really cool feature with this smart planter. So I'm gonna try and get the app if we can do it. Right, so I'm on my home page. I'm gonna add a device. I'm gonna let it use my Bluetooth to find it. Here he is. How exciting. Okay, pump is working. So that even tells me if it's working or if it's not working. I can then do my water frequency. How often do I want to, to water? There we go, so you can go from hours to days. Absolutely fantastic. Ah, oh, look, it's telling me I'm short of water in the tank. So I need to go put some more water in. We can schedule when we want it to be watered, how often we want to water it. So say we want to water every four hours, which seems quite a lot. And then water duration, so how long do we want to water it each time? It has suggestions. It says to put some uh, volcanic rock, expanded clay, miracle potting mix, all in the bottom. And this is gonna really help it to, if you're growing directly into these pots, this is gonna suck up all of the moisture and then it's gonna make all of the soil wet and it's basically gonna water it from below up to the top. This is one of our pots. You can see it's got this sort of bit at the bottom like that, kind of sucks up the water into the roots. So these pots then can go into here like that. And the roots now have room to kind of grow down and get water whenever they need it. And just here on this one, you can see how the roots have grown through the bottom. So it makes it really great for them to suck up all of the water and it's plenty of room for the roots to reach out and he is just doing really, really well in this pot. Um, as long as you can connect to Wi-Fi and get onto the app, you can then water your seedlings wherever you are, as long as you can connect to Wi-Fi, which is just brilliant. And you can, contain, you can control the frequency, how often it waters, how much it waters, how long for, uh, which is just brilliant. And like I said, the tank, 16 litres, you can water this for 45 days. It's gonna have plenty of water for all of them. And all the links to it will be in my description bar just below this video. So go and check it out and let me know what you think of it as well. I'd love to hear your opinions. So I actually went and brought myself some of my favourite flower ever, which are these uh, little snapdragons. Um, I think the proper name is An Antirithnum. <laughs> I actually sowed some of these by seeds. Do you want to see them? Okay, because last year they worked. This year, not so much. These are the seeds that I sowed probably mm, about four weeks ago. This is how big they've got and I've only got one, two, three, four. And you better believe that I over sowed these. I literally sprinkled them like confetti and they just have not worked. Last year they did work for me. Did exactly the same thing, exactly the same time of year. This year nothing. So I'm gonna whack these out in the garden somewhere now and label them and hopefully have some beautiful flowers to look at later in the year.
through the magic of the vlog. Uh, it's actually now the next day. It's such a beautiful day here today in the UK. It's like honestly so warm. Um, unfortunately, I've had the worst headache ever, like almost all day. So it's now like almost half past five in the evening. It's still beautiful and my headache's just about eased. So I've come outside to see my garden. Honestly, it's changed so much literally just overnight, like just with the sun and the warmer weather so much is growing now and it's just i just love it there's also quite a lot of trains going by because it is half past five at night and this is when all the trains run everyone's trying to get home so um hopefully i'll be able to edit them out but we'll see um i want to show you a couple of things so down here where i cleared those big areas in this um because this was all uh forget-me-nots but they were looking a little bit I don't know like a little bit untidy and I pulled out some of the tulips as well I put in a couple of cosmos so I've got one there and one there and I'm hoping that they'll kind of get really big and bushy and um, fill out this area I think they will and then what I was thinking of putting down is some Californian poppy seeds as well because I quite like this wildness of like the forget-me-nots I really like it and I like them coming through here as well I think it looks really really nice it's almost like it's like a happy accident do you know what I mean it's like messy but it also looks a little bit on purpose so I was thinking Californian poppies might do the same thing and have the same effect I'm a bit of a fan of like the the messy unkept kind of garden look that sort of looks together but sort of doesn't as well and then those um what they called snapdragons one of my favorite flowers I put around my teepee they definitely survived the night so this is really good I've got strolch like everywhere but I put three here then I've got my sweet pea teepee and then I have another three over here so I think this would be quite a nice little area this year I did have some sunflowers at the back I think I've said that but they got eaten I'm sowing some more so hopefully I'll have some sunflowers at the back as well this border is starting to come on really nicely now I've got quite a lot of salvia I think this is a Japanese anemone is that how you say it an anemone um, and then I've got the foxgloves that have come up really tall the apple tree in the middle and um, the clematis montana which is doing really well this year this is a rose this is quite new so I don't expect it to do very much this year but hopefully next year it will um, got some asters and then down here I feel like I've made a secret discovery but it could be a weed um, if it's a secret discovery it's the, one of the best ones I've ever made in my life but I have a feeling that this could possibly be a clematis so I found this when I was weeding I noticed it's coming out the ground actually now I'm looking at it it doesn't really look like a clematis but it's like it's definitely a viney thing is it a weed or is it a clematis and how would I know because the way it's growing that there that looks very much like a clematis to me but this bit here looks weedy I think I might just like prop it up and see what it does I mean let's be honest a weed is just a plant that you don't want in that place you know it's just an unwelcome plant but if I welcome it it's not a weed is it so I might just put some twine up and see if I can spin him round it <laughs> the more I'm looking at it the more I think it might be a weed but if it's a pretty weed I'll keep him such a gorgeous gorgeous day in the garden today so annoying that I had such a bad headache and I just couldn't get out hopefully it will stay nice for a little bit so I will get some nice days in the garden just want to show you what's growing in my little um outdoor greenhouse because a lot of you do ask I think I might have showed you this yesterday actually but if not I'll just show it today instead so these are my uh french beans doing really really good um, I got some cucumber I got all of my brassicas in here so this is kale and cauliflower um, I got sunflowers these are the dwarf variety uh, these are leeks which you saw me put on in another video and if you haven't you can go back and see that and they're doing fantastic um, I've sown some more cosmos in here and we've had a few germinate and then down here I'm hardening off these uh, cosmos which I sowed a little while ago they're doing really well I think the idea is to pinch them out but I really don't want to because I'm really scared that I'm gonna kill them so I might just not do that and then I have a couple of the giant sunflowers which are starting to germinate and I brought these outside and um, because this is full of herbs and slugs and snails don't tend to come in here I think there's probably loads of herbs that they don't like in here so they're safe there I mean that's the idea anyway 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my vlog today. If you did, do subscribe to my channel and I'm gonna do a weekly gardening vlog once a week from now on and it will just be snippets of me doing work in my garden over a week and then I'll put that up on a Friday so that's what my Friday vlogs are going to be for the rest of the summer I think. I hope you enjoy them, if you do subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, bye!